Bokir Tov, Parsha Sav, you know, it talks about how the, the Mizbeach was located and where it was located in the base of Migdash, the sacrificial fires um, would sometimes encounter rain, but the rain never put the fires out. And uh, the Eli Mansur asked a question. It says, why, why would Hashem put the fire where it could encounter rain? Why didn't he just put it where it wouldn't encounter rain? He wouldn't have to worry about it going out. But it encountering the rain and not going out showed that what Hashem intends to be in the fires for Hashem will always burn and never be able to be diluted. So I was thinking of a few things. One, we as people, we have fires within us, um, and if they're divine, you know, they'll never be put out. Um, now, what is the sort of requisite for that? Again, the fires were solely for Hashem. So when we genuinely have things that God's put on our heart or things we want to do to uplift Hashem's name, the fire won't be able to put out, be put out. But in the same, we should think about others' fires. And do we want to be the rain on someone else's fire? Now you could say, well, shoot, if, if it's for God, if for God's with him, it won't be able to put the fire out. But like, that's not the point. The point is that we don't want to be putting out other people's fires. Um, and this isn't just on like big ideas or grand ideas. This ultimately comes back to how we treat people. Are we treating people in a way that puts out their fire, that sort of saps the life from them? Even during this time right now, we're going through the corona epidemic, pandemic, everyone's quarantined and more conversations online, more conversations over the phone, more people are more sort of stressed and fired up. During that time, are we displaying the requisite kindness and or patience um, to these people that we encounter? Are we showing love? Are we fanning the flames of people's passions and desires? Are we bringing sort of that that rain to put their their dreams and their hopes out my prayer, my bracha to everyone is not only that your fires may burn bright, but that you may able, enable and, and assist others in making sure that their fires burn bright. Um, you know, there's a book entitled Midos that talks about um, some concepts of kindness. There's also a book called Horeb. And in Horeb, it talks about love. And it says that Simply being okay with your brother or your sister being on the land that God gave them, doing what it is that God intended them to do, that's not love. That's simply the absence of hate. But that love is when you see that actually their existence and their success is paramount and crucial for your own. And then that that is love. You know, so sometimes it can feel like a far stretch to... to, to carry that for others when we're still fighting to have it for ourselves. Uh, but I think that we will find that as we take that on for others, that the journey for ourselves would be even easier. And whichever order you go, uh, it's important to begin with the end in mind. And the end in mind is that all those we encounter, that all those that cross our paths would feel better, would feel enriched, would feel enlightened and enlivened from having come in contact with us. So, you know, everyone be encouraged during this time. Stay focused. Keep that fire burning, my youth, them. You understand? Live from Yerushalayim. You know what I mean? And it's Shabbos. It's almost Shabbos here. Getting ready for Shabbos. And uh, I'd like to close out like this. If I could be completely honest, my favorite topic and my favorite day of the week is Shabbos. All week I've been shopping, Lecha Dodi, just to welcome in the queen. Shalom Aleichem and Eshes Chayo, then we bless the Yiladim, and then we berate pre, then we wash and say Hamotzi, slice the holla, get the dips, and don't forget the fish, then it's time for the second dish. Soup first, followed by the main course, and then dessert. And the best part is 25 hours, no work, say. 25 hours, no work, yeah. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Yashare, Malachi El Yon, Mimelek Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Bless up.